just moments away from kickoff of the USL Championship playoffs. Here it comes. And it goes in. Oh, the ball just kept carrying. And it gets by Evan Lauro and Lou City on the board here in the 10th minute. So far, all Louisville City. 2 0. Comes in. Dos Santos hits. Stays on the ground. M. Costana shot it. Goal! Lucky! Lucky, lucky! Brownies on the board in the 83rd. Here it comes from White. Score! Uh, that's it. The Tampa Bay Rowdies are going to the USL Championship. First day, let's get after it, huh? Except the cold, we can't deal with the cold. <laughs> when I look at, obviously, how the season ended, certainly a, a growing moment for me, uh, certainly a lot to, to learn from. Um, it was, uh, unfortunately, the last game is a night I, I, uh, I certainly won't ever forget. To look at the work um, that my players, my staff, put in every single day uh, and to be you know one clearance away from being able to lift the trophy and that's that's something that for sure will will hurt for a long time but at the same time it's uh, it's given me uh, the fuel and the uh, the energy to not ever want to have that feeling again to get so close come up short that's the second time we've it's happened to us it just motivates us came came up a little bit short last year so it's lit a fire under a lot of people, especially the lads who've been here and won it. When I look at uh, how the game went, uh, when you go up two goals, I think it's something that we hadn't done for a while, if I remember correctly. You know, goals change games, right? Let's go, get it going. One or two, T. It's a two. Gonna be blue ball on my whistle, Josh. You cheating? Come on, come on, come on. Three points for Blue. Cam, switch with OJ. Goals, come on. When you look at building a preseason schedule, I think it's important that you're you're putting the players in uncomfortable situations, right? I think it's no secret last year we had a lot of success here at home and, and most of our losses came uh, on the road. So what I wanted to do for this preseason was put ourselves in a position to where we're we're uncomfortable and we're playing on the road, obviously the majority of it. You look at the different types of competition that you have throughout this preseason, you know, we'll, you know we will have had an MLS opponent, we will have had two um, Western Conference opponents, we will have had a college, uh, an Eastern Conference opponent, and then obviously uh, an MLS Next opponent. So I want the players to see different types of football, I want them to see different styles of play, and I want to put them in a position where they're being challenged in different ways that, that make them uncomfortable. I think this preseason schedule certainly puts them in that position, and, and we're, we're looking forward to that challenge. Listen, you have things that you can control and you have things that you, you can't control. I, I certainly can't control a, a snowstorm coming through. We're talking about a significant ice storm moving into our area. This one's going to drop a quarter to seven tenths of an inch of ice with widespread power outages in parts of the area. When presented with the information and the availability of where I can train or I can't train, it's, it's trying to do a good job of, of maximizing whatever is available and, and putting the players in a position uh, to where we're continuing to build our fitness. And, you know, while maybe we weren't able to get as much done tactically on the field as we wanted, it's making sure that myself and the staff have put something together uh, for the players to see uh, on video and in presentations. And, and, and ultimately, when you're sitting there and you're going through film, you're going through clips, when they're pushing one another, uh, I, I firmly believe you, you see growth. So um, there's been some, some positives to some of the um, issues that we've had to deal with, but ultimately, um, I talk to the players all the time, it's never an excuse, right? We still have a job to do, and, and if we can maximize the day, whether that be in the, in the, in the locker room or whether that be on the field, then that's, you know, that's what we have to do. Three points to blue from the last game, now next phase, three points on the line.
two by four minutes, we finish 99 to go. Okay. Good decision, T. Next one, Vitor, good reaction. Raymond, go on. Black ball, quickly, Simon. Good, Wilson. We just want to make sure that we focus on, on bringing in good people, which we have certainly done. Uh, you know, Matiti, uh, Kyle, uh, Ray, uh, Wilson, these are, these are players that are, are good soccer players, but good people. And so they're, they've done a good job of integrating themselves so far. Um, there's different things that we're still going to go through here in preseason to make sure that they're clear on roles and responsibilities, but it's been a good start. They all have unique uh, attributes and stuff that, that fits well here, and they're just good people as well. So um, they got up to speed really quickly and um, with what it's like here, the expectations every day. And they've been pushing themselves, we've been pushing them, and yeah, it's been, it, they've settled in great. And, Hopefully it continues. And I think Kyle uh, from from the back does an excellent job um, commanding his box, Run communicating away! with the people in front of him. It was Run something, away, you know, I'll never forget in St. Louis. He was constantly directing the guys in front of him, which I think is really, really key. He also, uh, he has the ability to make a save at any moment, um, and a big save. Uh, he's, he's calm in the back, and then when you look at from a professionalism standpoint, He's one of the first ones in, and he's one of the last ones out every single day. Because uh, established, you know, USL, really good USL keeper, has done it at numerous clubs, recently at, at Houston, so he's, he's coming at from a really good level. We obviously lost Chris, but we have, have Parker as well, so oh, the goalkeepers have been working super hard, challenging each other and pushing each other. They have their own little club, little union over there, so they, they're great. Coming to Louisville, I hope to bring leadership and experience and a uh, winning mentality. Uh, being in the league for a couple of years and um, making the playoffs in each of those years, I, I feel like I know what it takes to make the playoffs and I know at this club there's a high expectation and um, I think my leadership and my winning mentality is what I'll bring to the team. <laughs> There we go. I think that one had a little bit of snow on it. Keep her! Keep her! Hold Corbin! Hold Corbin! Now you go! Now you go! Higher toes! Hey, don't feel like you have to play. If you feel under pressure, you don't have an option, don't try to force an option. Just clip it. We don't care. You hear me? And some people may argue that, oh, you have to play, but no, play the safe one, you're center back, you know? Good hold up. Great save, don't be right. What I say to a lot of people who ask me what it's like here, I always say, like, people are great and the food is great. I came from a place where, you know, community was a big, big part of growing up and stuff like that, so to have a similar kind of feel here is massive. It was awesome to receive the care package from the Lou City ladies and um, just shows how much they're willing to support and welcome us as the newcomers of the team and um, it's going to give us a, a good opportunity to try some of the, the cool spots in Louisville. So I feel like here we have the best chance of winning, we have the best team, best coach, best fans and clearly the best facilities as well. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really important that you're you're able to keep uh, continuity within the locker room, especially when you talk about the culture that's been established here at Louisville City. Uh, it is not easy to to come in and and be a part of a group that has had so much success, knows what it takes to win. But I have a firm belief that when you look at you know when we when we have younger players come in, you know, Jonathan Gomez is a perfect example. You know, I firmly believe that the, the players played a significant role in him reaching the, uh, the level that he did over the years that he was here. And when you have that continuity and that understanding uh, with the bulk of the locker room, I think you put yourself in a position to, to have uh, success more often than not. For me last year, individually, and I look at the players that were in that locker room, you know, there was a lot of constant dialogue. There was a lot of trust 
between the players and, and myself. And I felt, you know, at the end of the day, ultimately, when you have that trust, it can lead to, to, to positive results. And, and, you know, while we did uh, fall short, I still felt uh, as a group um, that we had a lot to, to be proud of. Yeah, honestly, with, with Louisville being one of the top teams in the USL for the last six, seven years, um, my view really hasn't changed and it's kind of made me appreciate how much work goes into what is going on here in Louisville day to day and the work that the guys are willing to put in and um, the competitiveness of the core group of guys and how that flows to the entire team and um, the leadership of Danny and Simon and, and Scott. It, it's obvious why this team is a winning team. Everyone comes into locker room pre-season, clean slate, everyone's working hard building towards obviously the first game of the season even though it's like hard work it's still like a it's still an enjoyable place to be so um, yeah it's, goals are always the same it's certainly uh, going to be one that uh, remains in the back of my head until hopefully uh, at the end of this year we're we're able to lift the trophy good important that we're pointing those small details out hold each other accountable yeah, last round. Tied up, right? Zero, zero. Yeah, I love it, I love it. Good idea, good run, T. So I think the biggest thing is we acknowledge and we understand where we need to improve as we start building towards March.